will be talking about uh, write a calibration program for your light sensor. So the first program that we're going to cover is this basic one right here. So what this allows you to do is to position your robot over uh, the darkest area on the mat and the lightest area on the mat and then record those values at as the lowest and highest values um, for your light sensor. Uh, meaning it's going to turn uh, the black on your mat as zero and the white on your mat to a hundred. So that way uh, uh, under any t uh, lighting condition your robot and your program can work. So first step is to uh, reset your light sensor or your color sensor. <clears throat> and then we want to display our color sensor reading out on the screen so we can pick the lowest value. So then we position our robot man manually over the darkest area and then we measure the reflected light intensity and display it uh, onto the screen. So you select wire and you connect the uh, number to the display block. So over here, this is when we are going to press the enter button to confirm that we, we do in fact want to select this value as the minimum. So then we take that reflected light intensity value and set it into the minimum. So now over here we do the same thing for white or for setting it to the maximum. So here we gotta wait for 0 0.5 seconds to make sure our value has been recorded. And then this time we still you know, display the value on the screen and we instead this time we pick the highest value, basically positioning the robot light sensor over the white and then pressing enter and then taking that value that reflected light intensity and setting it as the maximum this time. the maximum here. So if you wanted to create um, a self calibrating program, so this is a self calibrating program, it's a little more complicated, but basically what this allows you to do is put your robot um, before uh, under a line or something, a line where there's white and black, so then you run this program and then your robot will manually drive over the white um, and back to look for the highest and lowest points and record it by itself. So first we gotta like always be set the calibrate, uh, uh, sorry the color sensor and then we got two variables we have minimum and we have maximum. So minimum we're gonna set as a hundred which is the highest possible. So whenever we get a new value it's gonna be for for sure under a hundred. And likewise for maximum, we're going to set it to zero at the beginning. So when we look for values, it's always we can uh, change that value uh, to a different value. So this is a default case. So now we're going to run our robot slowly over that said line, which will contain white and black usually. So then you can look for the highest and lowest points. Again, this will only work on you know FLL mats where it's got white and black on the same part of area. So it's going to run the robot over that area. And now it's gonna the light sensor, the color sensor here, is gonna look for the reflected light intensity. And if it finds one that's less than the minimum, then it will set that found value to minimum. So essentially every time it finds a lower value, then it's going to set that as a minimum. So after you run this for around 300 degrees or however many you like, over the whole line, um, then you, you wouldn't have found the minimum, so which is the lowest value that your life uh, your color sensor detected. So then it's going to set that value to the minimum here. So now uh, we're going to wait 0 0.5 seconds to make sure that value is recorded. And over here we do the same thing, but we're going to go backwards actually. So this should be negative 10 power. So that way we're going back over the light, uh, the line, and now this time when we're going back, we're going to look for the maximum. So 
over here. Uh, if we find, again, we're going to use our light, uh, color sensor and look for that reflected light intensity. And if we find one that is greater than the maximum, we're going to set the found value to maximum. So again, every time we find a new value that's higher than the maximum, we set that as the maximum. So now we go back uh, 300 degrees. Uh, instead, this time actually should be negative 300 degrees. And uh, if it's less than or equal to negative 300 degrees. So then uh, we, dis we set that maximum as the, uh, we calibrate the light sensor to maximum here. That's all for the video. Thanks for watching.